Good morning, hot dogs, and welcome to the morning announcements. How's your morning going? It's so great. Today, we will be covering Small Business Week, ban, and more. Now, to the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors and juniors, please fill out the Google form sent by Mrs. McDonald to nominate yourself or your classmates for prom royalty. Seniors will nominate for prom queen and king, and juniors will nominate for prom princess and prince. This Google form will close on Friday, May 21st. This week is National Support Small Business Week. Crash would like to thank the small businesses that helped for this year's Crash Scholarship. Thank you to Slabby's Food and Freedom and Jimmy John's for your monetary contribution. If you are hungry and looking for some tasty and delicious food, make sure to stop by Slabby's and grab some food from turkey, brisket, and so much more. If you or someone you know is looking for a job, Jimmy John's is hiring morning and evening shifts. If you are not looking for a job, then stop by Jimmy John's to get freaky fast, freaky fresh sandwiches. Seniors, don't know what to cater for your open house? Have Slabby's or Jimmy John's take care of that. Now to sports and weather. Good morning, hot dogs. Both the boys and girls track teams were in second in a quad meet versus Lebanon, Sheridan, and Traders Point. First place finishers include Sam Michael in the 100 and 200 meter dash, Logan Wills in the long jump and high jump, Edwin Wainscott in the pole vault, Mara Lopez Carrillo in the 400, Michael Hernandez in the 300 hurdles, Peyton Debris in the pole vault, Karina Allen Ace in the 3200, and good job to the rest of the team. The Lady Hot Dog softball team struggled against a strong Tri-West team on Tuesday and Wednesday, taking two losses. The pitching of the Tri-West controlled the bats of our dogs, limiting them to seven hits in two games. Sydney Whitaker, Karen Quinnies, Adam Bauer, Tara Martinez, and Zoe Westerman all contributed with solid hits. Our defense in the first game was on Tuesday, was strong, but struggles on the offense contributed to the loss. The team hopes to rebound with the win tonight against Western at home at 5.30 p.m. Golfers traveled to Twin Bridges to compete in a three-way meet with Lebanon and host Danville yesterday afternoon. Hot dog scoring was led by Ramsey Mitchell with 57, a pair of 58s by Trevor Meeks and Jesse Reed. Dakota Bailey's 60 rounded out the dogs to 233. Mason O'Brien scored a 61 and is showing improved ball striking each match. Hot dogs and bulldogs square off in a two-way match approximately at 415 today at Frankfurt Commons. The varsity baseball team completed the series of a sweep of Tri-West yesterday with the win of 5-0. Brian Valdez picked up, two, picked up the win with the four shutout innings, and Damian Lopez earned the save in relief. That's all for sports. Now to Azucena with the weather. Good morning, hot dogs. There will be expected rain showers throughout the day, with a high of 58 degrees and low 36 degrees. It will be a little cloudy. Winds will be from 10 to 20 miles per hour. That's all for weather. Now back to your host. A reminder that Strides for Stacy registration is still open. It will be on May 15th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. It will include a 5K walk slash run and is $15 to register. Please check the flyer in the chatter for more information and to register. Ask an NHS member or Mrs. Lovis for more details. Don't forget, there will be marching band practice from 4 to 5.30. For lunch today, lines 1 and 2 will be orange chicken, and in lines three and four, we'll have pepperoni calzone. All lines will have chef salads and yogurts. Well, that's all for the announcements. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell button to get more notifications. Happy birthday, Mom.